Hello and welcome back to Monetizing Your Blog. Now in this video we're going to be talking about ad placement and when you start to uh, get traffic to your site one of the things you're going to need to think about is where to place the actual ads and we've talked about getting a WordPress blog we've talked about getting a blogger blog some of those blogs have limitations as to where you can put blogs the most flexible again is going to be WordPress and you're gonna to wanna to consider that it's the easiest to work with and it's the most flexible in terms of where you can put the ads now there are three primary things you wanna pay attention to the sources one particular rule of thumb and then the different types so in other words first thing you wanna consider is you wanna have different sources in some cases you're gonna to wanna to use the Google AdSense program Okay, and if you're unfamiliar with Google AdSense all you'll have to do is go to uh, google.com forward slash AdSense and you can join the AdSense program which will allow you to put ads on your site and I'll show you what this looks like in a minute so we're going to take that off here you can also use the Con Commission Junction program which has a number of advertising options for you a number of different kinds of companies who want to advertise on niche specific websites that's another option in terms of uh, what kind of source you can put on your website and then of course you can advertise your own business uh, you can advertise some of the work that you're doing or an event you're doing and we'll show you what this looks like in a minute as a matter of fact while we're going here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you a fairly popular and successful blog now this person's name is Kim Roach and she runs a blog called buzz blogger and one of the things that you'll notice is that first here she's advertising her Facebook page she's advertising an opt-in page so she's advertising a number of different things if you go inside of her site you'll notice that again she's pushing her social media there at the top she's pushing uh, uh, an information product that she's doing you'll notice here that comes down what what happens is uh, she's asking you to opt into her page so different kinds of advertising that she's doing she's doing advertising within her actual content and she's also doing advertising on the page so ad placement you want to vary it in terms of different types of advertising I'm also going to show you another blogger fairly popular their name uh, their name is his name is Darren and he runs the blog pro blogger and I'm gonna go to his blog in a minute and you're gonna see a couple of different kinds of things Now you're gonna see him he's as a matter of fact he's advertising the fact that you can advertise on his blog and he's got he's again advertising his social media you'll see text links in here you'll see his social media pages so there are a number of different types of advertisements that you can do on your site okay so you want to use different sources in order to monetize your blog AdSense affiliate things that you're doing your opt-in different advertisements for different things on your actual page now a rule of thumb is that you want to make sure that your blog page is clean the rule of thumb is that for every time you scroll 800 by 600 you should see one ad and you want to make sure that you don't overdo the advertisement let's see what that looks like I'm gonna show you a blog here called duct tape marketing and here you'll see an advertisement for an autoresponder you scroll down here you'll see that this person he's doing some advertising of a podcast his other books you'll see there's uh, something that he's doing there his social media and you'll notice that the page is clean you don't see advertising every place but you see an advertisement uh, pretty much every 800 by 600 
So again, the, the objective is not to stuff your page full of ads so that people will click on them and see them. The point is to keep your page clean for the sake of your readers and to monetize that with things that would be enticing to them. But again, you want to keep your focus on the reader and keeping your place, your page clean because that is what will keep them coming back to your site and helping you to earn more money every time you gain more visitors. Okay, again, uh, one of the things that you can do is you can do different types of monetization. You can do banners, buttons, and text links. I'm going to show you another blog here, fairly popular, for someone called the Pioneer Woman. Okay, and you'll see a number of different things. Now, the Pioneer Woman primarily uses lots of images on her site. She has a number of different sections, and you'll see a number of different kinds of advertising that she does. And let's kind of scroll down here. You'll see there that this is, she's advertising uh, a, a blogging group that she's a part of. She's advertising for Starbucks here. You scroll down, you'll probably see some text links in here. You'll see some consumer products. So you'll see a number of different kinds of advertising. Banners, text links, all kinds of different ways and mixtures of advertising spaces that she can use on her site. And you want to do pretty much the same thing. Now lastly... I've live it I've I've placed there what happens if you get complaints. Right? Because people sometimes resent the fact that you're advertising on your site or they may feel as if you might have too many advertisements on your site. One of the things that you can do in order to uh, limit the amount of complaints that you get is to advertise from the beginning. If you advertise from the beginning, then your visitors will get used to your advertisements and decide they like your content enough to continue to come. If you try to change midstream and you get your readers used to your not having a lot of advertisements and then you stuff your page full of them, you're probably going to border on irritating them and you're going to lose subscribers and lose readers. So you want to start from the beginning doing your advertising on your page, your monetization, and then you'll start to bring the traffic that will be okay with that kind of activity as opposed to bringing people who might be offended by what you're doing. So you, in a sense, you do not want to worry about complaints, but at the same time, though, you want to bring people to your site, into your marketing funnel, who don't have a problem being marketed to and who don't have a problem with you showing them different kinds of offers that they can either click, investigate, or even opt into. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.